listen to a bunch of um, a bunch of country when I was growing up, which was like not like I don't know. Well, country has a bad name now because now it's kind of. I mean, I'm not the high priest of music, believe me, but, but it's just kind of. Even back when I was a kid, like growing up in the, in the early, like late 70s. Uh, <laughs> my, uh, my dad would always play stuff like, um, I mean, he, he loved like George Jones and uh, Waylon and Willie and all that. And, and I hated it. I was like, I was like, I was into much more like progressive, mature music, like Kiss. Yeah, Kiss and Motley Crue. That's all I had all figured out. One, two, three, the four. Lyrical, Nikki Six. The lyrical brilliance. <laughs> and what in reality, a girl's girl's girl. I believe it was Jesus Christ who once said, "We're we're rocking in Atlanta at Title Two." Yeah. Sheena! Anyway, shut up. It's my show. I'm giving you guys too much work. Um, so, I didn't realize that that was like, that the music he was pumping into my head that I hated so much whenever they'd be sitting around having fondue parties. It was, you know, it was just lame to me, which I didn't understand that subtleties existed. And then, uh, you know, you get older and you start to realize where a lot of music comes from. And like those, those guys were like the original gangsters, like super punk rock. And they were doing some crazy shit, like getting DUIs on, on riding lawnmowers. <laughs> Way before all these sort of things. And I just thought it was kind of cool to go back and revisit the catalog of the last 10 years of my life that my parents had of, of music that I was listening to then that I hated and now I love it and it's been a big inspiration for me lyrically just to sit and listen to some of the songs because they're very heart-wrenching. So I'm going to stop back and I'm going to play a Patsy Cline song that I used to listen to. Like that. Okay. 